Personal Flight Test. I'm Josh and this is Dave. Hi. And today we got a fast tip telling you how to choose the perfect frequency and power for your FPV platform. Three different things you need to think about when choosing FPV transmitter. It's the frequency, the legality of that frequency and the power output. Four different frequency bands you can use for FPV. That's 900, 1.2 or 1.3, uh, 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz. Okay. Now first thing you probably worry about is legality. You don't want to be illegal. So that's true. So for that's instance, gonna you. yeah, you need to check your local laws for which frequencies are allowed. Yes. It's like in Sweden, 900 megahertz is not allowed at all. But 1.2, you can use a wider band of frequencies than in yeah. the U.S., for instance. Yeah, we only have one, 1.280. Yes. Would be the check that. Uh, check all your laws. That's good. Okay. Now we can choose the frequency you want to choose. Now say it's between two different frequencies. Why, why don't you give the benefits and minuses of each one of these real quick? Yeah, sure. So the 900 is going to penetrate really good through obstacles, okay. and it's going to go a, f a longer distance with less power. Okay. And it's very tolerant with its antennas. If you bend your antenna or something. That's very true. It's okay. easier. Okay. To get good performance cool. out of it. Now, the downside I see is those antennas are massive. They are huge They're compared huge. to the 5.8. It's just tiny. It's just yeah. a baby. So, so oftentimes you see in our videos, we're flying around with these big pom pom Afro puffs on top of our uh, planes. That's because it's a 900. Yes, that's uh, true. So 1.2. Uh, 1.2 is more or less the same as 900. It has great penetrating power. You can fly with. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz transmitters, which is really nice. Uh, you can get into some trouble sometimes yeah, with the second sell a filter for it. Yeah, but they sell a filter for it, so you can use a high-pass filter. Those two are more or less the same. Yeah. And 90% so of them. the time, this will probably be where you're going to be lying in the range. Now, now, one point or 2.4 is not used hardly at all, is it? It's used much less because there's so much stuff. Uh, transmitting on 2.4 and for instance all your new transmitters today use 2.4 and you can fly a 2.4 with a 2.4 transmitter as well it's gonna interfere which is some just, some people out there do do it but it's I much don't more of a headache it. than it's worth it yeah don't do it yeah, just keep it. away from it now the 5.8 5.8 is really nice because you can use it uh, with no downside to your RC transmitter. It doesn't interfere because ha harmonics don't divide. Yeah. They only go upwards. Now GPS though? That's still fine. It's it still doesn't, fine? Yeah, okay. you can. Good to know. It, it's still, it sends out frequencies everywhere. Okay. It always, every transmitter does that, but it's so far off, so it's nice. Okay. It, trouble is, uh, it doesn't penetrate at all, hardly. It's really bad because everything absor absorbs it really well. So if you fly behind a tree or you have some guy while you're flying walk up to you right in front of your antenna and say, hey, what you doing over there? You're gonna have instant on to instant off. There's no fuzzy in between, is there? It's really it's, hard cut. It's harder, much, much harder than anything else. Now the benefit though is when you do have a signal, it's a really nice, It's nice clear because, signal. yes, because the, the bandwidth of the 5.8 is high, so it's gonna transmit a nice clear image. But you do need more power and, then, and maybe we should talk yes. about that next is, is the benefits of power yes there's lots of different powers anywhere from 200 milliwatts all the way up to full watt why wouldn't you just go for a full watt right off the bat because you get a lot of trouble with that okay. it's gonna swamp your transmitter or your uh, RC link okay really badly because it just leaks stuff everywhere so okay. the smaller the less power you can get away with the better the more yeah, it'll play nice there it's like a bully on a playground you know the bigger the bully the more problems it causes right the smaller <laughs> the ball yeah. no. no long story short so so choose your application if you're going to go long range pick something maybe that's more friendly uh that, that doesn't need as much power like the 5.8 you said consumes a lot more power to get the same range as a 900. yes that's true so what i would recommend starting okay. out with is a 200 milliwatt like 900 or a 1.2 that's a really good start out with good range uh few problems antennas are easy yes antennas are easy to build so all right dave so that's basically the, the legality the mm -hmm. frequencies available and the power you want yeah and for the application yes very that's cool true. now you usually insult someone or, or, or threaten them i'm going to put this on an airplane you go ahead and close <laughs> i'm nice today <laughs>